okay okay so good day students so um, this is chapter 7 of our book uh, the fundamentals of ethics so chapter 7 is all about psychological egoism so what is psychological egoism so psychological egoism um, tells us that there is only one thing that motivates human beings and what is that thing that thing is called self-interest all right so the reason why this person is helping this person you know this person is helping this person it is because of self-interest right so that is the point of psychological egoism or that is the main um main uh, idea of psychological egoism you now that we help other people not because we wanted to help him jud no no that we really want to help him but uh, the main thing or the main reason is uh, our self interest all right so maybe this person right here is aftering for uh, I don't know no future reward or whatsoever future reward or what's whatever you no know, whatever things he want to desire for himself okay so psychological egoism is the theory that all human actions are aimed at avoiding some personal loss or gaining some personal benefit okay so it is um, avoid some personal loss right so self-interest gihapon and uh, gaining some personal benefit self-interest gihapon so in this case if this person is aftering for the reward right so personal benefit na siya Okay, so self-interest kihapon. Okay, or uh, probably this person give something to another person or to this person because um, he might get punished kung dili na niya buhaton. No? So, again, self-interest kihapon kay avoid punishment, no? Or to avoid some personal loss no avoid punishment or avoid some personal loss all right so that's the reason why um uh, this person is giving something to another um person okay so basta always remember uh, the point of psychological egoism is self-interest okay you help other people people because of self-interest okay so if psychological egoism is true then altruism what is altruism okay so altruism is the direct desire to benefit others for their own sake so altruism if psychological egoism is true no, no, we are motivated by self-interest alone so therefore altruism does not exist all right so walay altruism walay altruism all right so can you see this is not because of altruism but it is because of self interest that is the main point of psychological egoism all right so next uh, we have examples here so for us to understand so for example uh, a son help his mother do the chores all right so this is a good behavior yes uh, Pero kung patanaon ang uh, psychological egoist ani, ang iyang tanaw sa sa 
pagtabang sa bata dia sa iyang inahan for example ni tabang baron og panglaba uh, iyang tanawa na is ni tabang na siya panglaba for self interest right so for example if the child uh, aims for money so that is self interest okay self interest na siya diba Okay, it will benefit you. It will not benefit your mother ng imo ang gitabangan. So therefore, self-interest na siya or uh, you help your mother uh, wash the dishes or do the dishes because para lang sug sugtan ka nga na akay uyab or makauyab ka or pwede na ka manguyab or pwede na ka mo laag. Right? So these are self interest Okay so ana yab that self interest laag money also laag uh, money is um self interest as well Okay so uh for example another example a nurse Okay a nurse help an old lady cross the street Okay So since altruism doesn't exist Okay, so di ni may tabo nga altruism ni siya nga example because according to psychological egoist, this is because of self-interest. Okay? Self-interest kaya po. For example, uh, fame. No? The nurse wanted fame because na ay nag-picture no? dito sa unahan na igadala og uh, kamera no? so once ma picture na siya niya um, i-upload sa internet masikat siya okay so that is self interest mo na view sa psychological egoist no nga ang pagtabang kuno sa tao is not because of altruism but instead it is motivated by self interest no and self interest are plenty no or self interest are varying they could be money or they could be fame no different kinds of self interest of course it should benefit you no Okay, another example. I studied my notes in ethics for grades. Uh, then uh, there are many reports of people jumping into. Reasons uh, uh, There are many reports of people jumping into freezing waters or blazing automobiles in order to save complete strangers, right? So, um, ano mang ilahanggi. Uh, niambak sila sa freezing waters kay na ay mga tao nga na trap sa ice or uh, kanang na accident diha sa ice no sa freezing uh, water so ganong niambak man sila diha no according to uh, psychological egoist they are aftering for self interest no they are not aiming for or their behaviors are not because of altruism but instead of self interest probably for fame no kina na videohan nga nagtabang og tawo ni ambak siya diha sa kuan ni buhat sa heroic act so ing ana ang panlantaw sa psychological egoist no dili sila mutuo nga ang reason behind that heroic act is altruism no but instead they believe nga the reason of that heroic act is Um, self-interest okay so or blazing automobiles in order to save complete strangers so probably for fame or I don't know money right so na po yung mga panghitabo o gani nga um, niuli siya og kwarta no taxi driver niya niuli og kwarta sa tinudan na yung tag-iya no? nga nabiaan ang katong iyahang or ang pitaka sa tag-iya yun na siyang taxi yung giuli. Now, 
according to psychological egoist, that taxi driver nga nag-uli sa sa kwarta, no? Ang iyang gi-after ana is self-interest probably butang talang pod fame or um ga-expect pud siya nga naay money nga ihatag diha niya in in uh, in exchange for his honesty no in in exchange for the good deed nga iyang nabuhat so ing ana ang viewpoint sa psychological egoist no especially when it comes to ing ana nga mga action sa tao when we help other people no huh? so what can we say about this none of these people was acting because of altruism okay so okay according to psychological egoism wala man mo exist ang altruism okay so according also to psychological egoism these acts or these behaviors or these heroic acts of people butang talang uh, was not because of altruism but instead of or it is driven by self interest okay so nagsalbar ka og bata it is because of self interest probably nakakita kag uh, camera right and then you want fame no na camera then afterwards after sa camera no na upload sa uh, internet okay na upload sa internet then you became famous no so you are after for fame or i don't know money or i don't know whatever reasons whatever uh, reasons that will uh, benefit uh, your own self all right so the point of psychological egoism is that uh, we do these things okay not because of altruism but because of self interest all right so kaning pagtabang aning tawhana sa bata this is not because of altruism or katong giingon nato nga sa to katong giingon nato nga uh, the direct desire to benefit others for their own sake no so, so gibuhat na sa tao because of self interest now that's according to the psychological egoist that's not according to my 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 viewpoint no i am just discussing here unsa nang psychological egoism or unsa point sa psychological egoism especially in these instances okay so always remember na according to um psychological egoist we do uh, these kinds of things or uh, human actions or human beings are motivated by self-interest and altruism doesn't exist okay or does not exist it okay so let's go to another slide um what psychological egoism isn't so psychological egoism is not an ethical theory okay so it is not an ethical theory rather psychological egoism is a descriptive theory about how we do behave all right so it just basically describes it doesn't prescribes so if it doesn't prescribes it only describes right so psychological egoism does not tell us how we ought to behave it just mainly describe no so monto atong giingon ganiha nga ingon siya an ingon ang psychological egoism nga uh, ang tao um uh, mubuhat ko no og kanang mga maayong buhat or ang tao gyud mismo in general we are motivated by um tawag ni self interest okay so it doesn't tell us na uh, unsi sakto or unsi sayop but it only describes okay that's the point ani nga 
uh, kung ano nga, uh, psychological egoism is just a descriptive theory about how we do behave and not an ethical theory or it is not uh, it is not a normative theory or prescriptive theory of ethics no it's only a descriptive theory it only describes no dili siya magbuot no nga ingon di wala siya mo ingon nga if you do uh, a certain action based on your self interest automatically you are doing wrong no wala siya mo ingon na ni ingon ra siya nga uh, sa si tawag na you do a certain action because of self interest wala siya mo judge no wala judging nga nahitabo no nga moingon nga ah, sayup a ah, sakto no it just basically uh, describe uh, about how um, we do behave no it doesn't tell us how we should behave okay so so implications of egoism argument so now we have this argument so first let us begin with the first premise if psychological egoism is true then we can't be altruistic because altruism doesn't exist according to psychological egoist then if we can't be altruistic then it can't be our duty to be altruistic all right so kung dili man ganita altruistic so therefore it is not our duty or it can't be our duty to be altruistic no so or to help for the sake of others no therefore if psychological egoism is true then it can't be our duty to be altruistic that's our third um uh, conclusion then we have our fourth premise psychological egoism is true right so gikan the third Okay, third sata. So, therefore, if psychological egoism is true, then it can't be our duty to be um, altruistic. Now, niingon naman dari sa premise 4, nga psychological egoism is true. So, therefore, it can't be our duty to be altruistic. Okay, it can't be our, our duty to be altruistic. Okay, so... Um, according to the psychological uh, egoist point of view, no, nga, we can't be altruistic or it is not our duty to be altruistic. No? So, next. Then, we have no duty to be compassionate, considerate, kind, or generous. Okay? So, since we cannot be altruistic, so we cannot be compassionate at the same time, considerate, kind, or generous at the same time. Okay? So, because ang point sa uh, psychological egoism, you give something because of self-interest and not because of, not because of altruism. It is only because of self-interest that you are aftering maybe in the near future. Okay, so there are a lot of reasons why you do such behavior. Why you give this person, uh, uh, why you do good things to this person or to another person. Okay, so we can't be altruistic. It can't be our duty. To be altruistic because altruism doesn't exist according to um, psychological egoist, right? So therefore, kining atong nakita karon this is self-interest. This person is motivated by self-interest according to psychological egoism, not according to me, but according to psychological egoism. This person is motivated or driven by self-interest and not driven by altruism okay so i hope you get the point here okay let's proceed so we have arguments for psychological egoism okay so the argument from our strongest desire so we have uh, i guess three arguments 
Okay, so first we have this argument for our strongest desires. So whenever you do something, you are motivated by your strong desire. Okay, so that's the first premise. Whenever you are motivated by your strongest desire, you are pursuing your self-interest. So therefore, whenever you do something, you are pushing your self-interest. Okay, so yung sige ingon ani sa sa ato ang argument. No, whenever you do something, you are motivated by your strongest desire. Okay, so um, therefore, uh, for example, uh, washing the dishes. No, washing the clothes lang clothes. <laughs> washing the clothes. Washing the clothes. Nagitabangan ni mo imong mama pag laba sa um, mga sanina. Now, okay, so you are motivated, in this case, you are motivated by your strongest desire. Okay, because whenever you do something, man, so therefore, if this is muni mong gibuhat, so you are motivated by your strongest desire. So, whenever you are motivated by your strongest desire, so you are pursuing your self-interest. Okay? Therefore, whenever you do something, you are pursuing your self-interest. Okay? So, uh, you wash the clothes or you help your mother wash the clothes because of self-interest. Okay? Okay? Okay, so I hope you get the point. Okay, so now, that argument, na na siya mga problems. Okay, so first, we have premise 1 can't account for strictly consensuous action. Uh, strictly consensuous action or doing what you think is required of you even in the face of great temptation. Premise 2, uh, premise 2, what's premise 2? Here is premise 2. No? Now, premise 2 ignores the fact that sometimes our strongest desires is not self-interested. Okay? So, the egoist says that be just because a desire is mine, then it has to be aimed at my self-interest. Okay? So, now, po'y murag uh, uh, problems or murag weakness sa... Uh, argument of uh, argument from our strongest desires. So, una, nga, um, premise one can account for strictly consensuous action. No, nga, <clears throat> uh, premise two, oh, sometimes our strongest desire is not self-interested. Okay, so um, it. it the egoist says that just because a desire is mine, then it has to be aimed at my self-interest. Alright, we have examples here. Some of us deeply want to help other people. When we manage to offer such help, we are doing what we really want to do. Yet, uh, what we really want to do is to benefit someone else, not ourselves. Okay, so there are instances nga we... We help because uh, we want to benefit someone else no? and not ourselves. Okay, so here, the person who really wants to help the homeless, so there are people like this, no? and volunteers at a soup kitchen, ka nang muhatag og libre nga uh, pagkaon sa mga homeless, no? Uh, mo hatag og uh, libre nga shelter sa mga homeless or mo hatag og temporary nga shelter sa mga homeless these are people nga uh, doing things no nga they desire but it is not benefiting them but it is clearly benefiting someone else okay especially for the homeless okay so they may certainly derive pleasure from their efforts, but this doesn't show that the pleasure was her aim. Because her aim or his aim 
is to benefit the homeless or to give food to the homeless and also to give temporary shelter or uh, to give aid to the homeless. No, so there are people like that. So that's the problem also of our strongest desires. One of the argument of our strongest desires. Let me natong premise to nga if you do uh, or if we are motivated by your strongest desire, you are pursuing your self interest. Now here, the person nga na as a volunteer work is also motivated by his strongest desire to help these people. But um ani it doesn't show that the pleasure the pleasure was her aim or his aim okay so now we have another um argument so the argument from expected benefit okay so whenever you do something you expect to be better off as a result so if you expect to be better off as a result of your actions then you are aiming to promote your self interest so therefore whenever you do something you are aiming to promote your self interest okay so now we have problem for the argument from expected benefit so we have pr premise one seems to ignore the possibility of the pessimist Okay, so unsa magiging sa premise one day. So ningon mong nga whenever you do something, you expect to be better off as a result. Okay, so you expect if you do something, now for example this one, you expect to be better off as a result. So it should give you something na makapa makapa improve nimo, no? or makahatag og kalipay po nimo right so it could be in many forms so now pessimist unsa nang pessimist okay a person who tends to see the worst aspect of things or believe that the worst will happen okay so um, according to this one no nga ang pessimist if they do something ang ilahang huna huna on yun is permi mang bate so they they don't expect to be better off as a result now for example if this lady right here is a pessimist ang yang mahuna huna an kay puro negative right puro nega negative so even nga iyahang matawangan ng tawhana since this person uh, this woman right here is a uh, pessimist you know that something good bad will happen um dili gihapon na makapa better off niya so if you expect to be better off as a result of your actions then you are aiming to promote your self interest so therefore whenever you do something you you are aiming to promote your self-interest. Okay. Now, premise 2 assumes that if you expect to benefit, then your benefit is always your aim. But this doesn't seem to be true. Imagine uh, an employee late for an important appointment who increases his delay by helping a stranger cross a dangerous street. He doesn't anticipate any reward for his good deed and knows that his or that this delay is only going to stoke his boss anger so another example return to those who enjoy volunteer work no katotong is gutanganiha people who love to help other people in volunteer work no for the homeless uh, and for the rape victims so such people may well expect to gain something from their activities Volunteers often uh, report feelings of deep satisfaction at their efforts, but this doesn't show that their motives are self-interested. Alright, so that's what makes pre premise to um, problematic. Okay, so ingon jukuno nga self-interest jukuno it should benefit you. 
okay no you should promote your self interest but there are some instances na people help other people of not for their own self interest okay then uh, we have another argument the argument from avoiding misery if we would never do an action that promised only personal misery then all of our actions are done in an effort to avoid such misery so we would never do an action that promised only personal misery therefore all of our actions are done in an effort to avoid personal misery and that is self-interested motivation okay so problems for the argument from avoiding misery premise two uh, the claim that we'd never act in ways that promised only misery may well be false okay so consider a gymnast uh, who gives up a place on her country's Olympic team to allow a fellow athlete to uh, the coveted spot so or a prisoner of conscience who stands by her principles knowing that she is going to be tortured as a result or a killer who wants only to suffer in order to repent for his crimes All right so these are examples that you know Kanang, they prove na premise 2 no, of the argument from avoiding misery is problematic. Okay? Kanang premise 2. We would never do an action that promised only personal misery because there are actions committed by human beings no, na promotes personal misery. Okay? Okay, so uh, there are people nga ni angkon sa ilahang sala kay na konsensya sila no so pag angkon nila sa ilang sala and they know what will happen to them they will be punished no na ay tawo nga ni angkon nga nang rape no or nangawat or nangidnap so they expect nga they will be punished but they are still okay with it even though nga there is no, an impending misery. No, or there is a promised misery na nagpaabot nila. Alright, so uh, in this case, a gymnast po, iyahang give up ang iyahang uh, place, no, para na ay uh, mupuli tong kuan, iyahang kauban ng athlete po sa spot. So, nagpa-raya ra siya no kay baw siya sa iyang pagparaya sakit kay na no it is misery to her side no sa gymnast nga side miserable kay na nga, nga experience para niya nga, nga dili na siya kasuod no sa so, sa olympic team because iya mang gihatag sa lain pong athlete okay si kabaw na ka nga sakit no na isakit nga mabuhat or na misery or miserable thing uh, mahitabo but still you you have done it okay so uh, another example or a killer who wants only to suffer in order to repent for his crimes okay so kay baon na siya nga ma prisoner siya but still yangi buhat no kabaw siya nga mag suffer gyud siya sa prisuhan but still yang gibuhat so therefore we can say nga kaning um, premise number 2 is problematic premise number 2 sa argument from avoiding misery is problematic nang ino siya we would never do an action that promised only personal misery but in the real world we have done or there are a lot of people who have done it already no in our society now, even they know, even if they know uh, there is uh, a promise of misery, no, or they will be tortured, or they will be sentenced to death, or they will be prison, or they will be sad, no, in in doing those things, but still they have done it. Okay. Okay. So I hope you get the point. Now we have the two egoistic strategies. 
uh, appeal to the guilty conscience, expand the realm of self-interest. Okay, so we have the two of them. Then we have the assessing the evidence for psychological egoism. What possible evidence could count against psychological egoism? What does the available evidence suggest? Right? So, empathy, altruism, hypothesis. Empathy cannot prompt altruistic motivation. Psychological studies strongly support this hypothesis. And this strongly suggests that psychological egoism is false. Okay? So, this would be the end of the presentation. So, see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.